Alright, well, it's, uh, what, June 25th, Thursday, and I just wanted to, first, I just got new video software I bought last night, so I apologize for all the random videos, like, they're virtually been all the same thing, but, Hey, calm down. But I do want to start doing a lot more videos. So I'm going to start out here in the garden today. Kiwi, you need to put your teeth away. Stop it. No. But uh, yeah, so we've got so much going on back here. And uh, I'll show you the, the projects. First off over here, we've got our pumpkin that's now flowering, it's amazing. It's, it's such a like amazing plant, it's just going crazy. But uh, got this one over here on the end, starting, that's the biggest one. Got a couple other starts here. But you'll see there's so many other little starts all over the place. And, uh, the peas. These are just everywhere. And I'm eating off of this like crazy too. So this is like breakfast every morning. Now, here's the sad thing. Is this is so overgrown now with weeds. I'm like wondering. So, post a comment if you know anything, but the watermelons here, they're moving, but they're moving pretty slow, and I'm wondering if the weeds here in the front are keeping these back. In the back, I know why we're not getting too much water, but uh, I water as best I can. Um, the disappointment so far with the whole garden has been strawberry patch. Uh, I'll show you kind of some of the victimization that's taking place. So like all these stem ends you'll see like right here. Something's coming in like almost daily and just nipping off. Well first it'll steal anything that's actually ripening. And then worse is it's taking all the rest. I'm thinking it could be kiwi. It very well could be but uh, we have some squirrels and marmots and things that are around, so I find walnuts every once in a while, and that's been crazy. But otherwise, moving on, the peas here. The peas are now trellising pretty well. Like, I have to keep them off that back fence, but I went through the other day when I was weeding, and like, they're really growing now. I uh, probably won't have anything till the end of July, but you can see some of the, the PNs are actually starting to come up, like right here. And there's two different kinds, there's a pole bean and a bush bean in here. But then over here we've got the cucumbers, these are the, the really thin skin cucumbers I got from Desert Jewels Nursery. If you haven't been there, check them out. Uh, the remainder of what I have in my first lettuce bed is just a little bitter now, so it's been growing so long. But just gorgeous bed. Um, transplanted this jalapeno plant out of the pot and I didn't do it very well. So it's suffering, but hopefully it'll get back to it. And same with the uh, mints and my uh, lemon balm took them out of the pots. This is definitely going to take over this whole bed, but uh, it'll be really pretty too. Uh, I love it. So, um, In the next bed over here we've got the onion patch. And I'm really just thinking the right side here is not doing anything. I mean I don't really see any growth happening for the last whatever. It's sustaining. I'm hoping that you know, things are growing under the ground as onions do, but 
you have any feedback on why my I think they're the white or yellow onions one of them specifically just is not taking off at all uh, the others have kind of plateaued and since I have so many carrots in the middle and all these root plants I think there's only so much that you can do um, but the bottom bulbs are really going pretty well on the onions now the carrots though I think they might need more room um, otherwise the worry of mine was the cucumbers I planted my seed now they're the five here in the middle and they're going great the melons on the outside are going well um, another concern for comments are my pepper plants these peppers are not growing up at all any of them and there's five or six different varieties so I think I'm just being a worry wart but um, so anything I need to do any suggestions for the peppers please let me know uh, otherwise tomatoes are going great other than my early girl and summer girl they're kind of stunted uh, my bush early girl right here is kind of the runt of the litter so um, and even my summer girl is very thinned out. They're producing, and no problem with that, but uh, the production is a bull heart tomato plant. It flowers and then nothing actually, you know, becomes fruit, so that's been kind of annoying. Um, otherwise, we've got some really cool cherry tomatoes coming in. And, uh, gold star here. I see them right down there. And then we've got our broccoli, zucchini, potatoes, and this bed is just it's gorgeous. But it's gonna fill in so ridiculously. I'm not I definitely have too much in this bed. Um, and then same thing over here is another suggestion. Uh, these melons are just they're definitely experiencing some bugs and I'm really hoping that they'll survive it. The watermelons there in the back are, they're all, these are all newer so I'm not too worried but. So sorry for the interruption there, business called. But uh, back to the garden, this is the, the other bed over on the far end of my garden and as you can see my new lettuce bed is <laughs> it's taken off really, really quick. So the spring one seemed like it definitely hesitated, but with the summer weather we're getting and how hot, and I think this soil is just it's ten times better too. But uh, it's taken off really well, and then the corn in the back is actually really tall now too. Get down, and I mean not super tall. It's got a lot to grow, but for as long as I've had it in the ground. It's going well. I have no doubt that we'll have corn this year. Um, the unfortunate part, and it's not that bad because I need walking and space in this bed, but the front I had corn in and there's like nothing that popped up. So, not super disappointed because I definitely got the other corn over here, but still, just a waste of space and another learning episode. Don't compact your garden for every square foot. Um, and back over here, show you the status and the difference between a pumpkin that's planted in full sun and a pumpkin that's planted in the partial shade. So these other pumpkin plants, this is only about maybe three weeks behind. We'll see if it catches up, but so far it seems like these pumpkins are definitely growing at a stunted rate, not having full sun, as are probably going to be happening with my melon too. Uh, there's my Sarah's Choice melon, and then over there we have a snow leopard honeydew. You know, there's two back there. And then the corn over here is doing fairly well too. It gets a, a lot of sun, but still not as much as the other bed 
And these sunflowers are getting real tall in the back as well. Uh, again though, when the sunflowers don't have full sun, they're not getting as thick around the stalks. They are growing taller quicker, I'm finding. Uh, I think just looking for sun or more sunlight, but that's been my experience with that so far. Uh, the, this soil is kind of unfortunately bad too, so much, uh, you know, it was a bunch of ivy and this bamboo that's just insane. But you'll see the bamboo up here. So the rest of the garden up here in the corner, this, this is my test area. We'll see how it goes. So I hope that gives you a good idea of the updates and uh, please post your comments um, helping me out with the peppers, uh, what you can think up about maybe if those weeds really are keeping it back. I've, I've heard that watermelons do well with in a big weed patch no matter what, um, pretty resilient. And then also, yeah, just things to take note is the sunflowers and melons, the best thing is keep those in full sun um, and don't maximize every single square foot because <laughs> otherwise you're going to have like either a massive bed or no space to walk around and actually harvest so it just becomes more of a pain in the ass so um, I'm still very happy with how everything's going and uh, other than something eating my strawberries uh, probably definitely kiwi <laughs> uh, at least some of it but nothing's perfect, and uh, I hope you enjoyed. Have a great day.